Hey guys, Jamie Lee here, along with my blue throat macaw Jinxie. And today's video is a little bit different. It's where I get to answer, ask, I get to answer the questions you guys asked me on Instagram. So yeah, you get to learn a little bit about me. You've seen the About Us series so far with Dave and Capri. Now it's my turn, so this video is about me. So if you don't wanna learn about me, like, don't watch this video. What's your favorite thing to do that's not bird related? Ooh, favorite thing to do that's not bird related? Um, I love to scuba dive with Dave. I like to try new things, so I'm not much of a repeater, but Dave and I got jet skis like a year ago, and that's been my favorite thing to do during the summer. I love to snow ski during the winter. Um, I actually got kind of addicted to working out, which is weird, because I always heard about those kind of people and wondered how they functioned. <laughs> Who's your favorite bird? I feel kind of guilty answering this one with Cressy, but you're Dave's favorite, so my favorite bird I think is pretty obvious. It's Jinx. My blue-throated macaw. It's my man. Was traveling constantly and performing stressful, the magic show with animals? So I think that most people find traveling and even moving really stressful. I grew up moving a lot, and so I love it. I actually feel, I think, more relaxed when we are traveling because you kind of have no choice for figuring out the balance. It just like is what it is. Um, whereas being at home, you have to balance everything and you have to get your mail every day and like do these normal routine things that kind of stress me out. So I prefer the life on the road, I think, but that's what I was really used to. Which one of your birds causes the most and least trouble? <laughs> Okay, so this question, it really depends on what I'm trying to accomplish with the bird. If I'm trying to film, you're kind of a pain in the butt if I have other birds involved, uh, but so is Jinx. So Jinx is probably our number one. He escapes, he gives the other birds a hell. Um, he's just a pain in the butt, which is why I love him so much. But Bondi is also like a close second. She makes everything difficult because she requires 100% of your attention. And then the ones causing the least trouble, oh, do we have a least troublemaker bird? Maybe Tusa. Tusa's like, he doesn't actually have a problem with anything or anybody, it's just that Jinx has a problem with him, right? Who is by far the hardest project bird to work with? I think my hardest project bird was honestly my first project bird, because I knew next to nothing. I feel like I just, I. It was overwhelmingly like knowledge of nothing. <laughs> so starting from scratch, so Storm, he was probably my hardest, but more recently, I think Fennel, my uh, Project Bird female eclectus parrot, she was really difficult to connect with and um, I struggled with her. I think that's why all of Patreon loved that series so much as they finally got to see me like really struggle and question myself. How long have you been working with birds? So I have been working with birds as long as I've been married to Dave. 18 years. You know. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, good boys. You guys look so good. All right, switching it up. Oh, can't turn this chair. My legs aren't tall enough or long enough. Whatever. How smart is she? <laughs> Not very. Okay. Brothers or sisters, where are you in the fam? Ah, uh, only child. That's it. Favorite movie? Ooh, favorite movies. Rush Hour 2, Tommy Boy, Dumb and Dumber. Oh gosh, there's so many, but you're getting my vibe, right? Those types. <laughs> How old is your oldest bird? Uh, Bondi is our oldest bird, and she's 18 now. Is that right? So. She's an 18-year-old. She's an adult now. <laughs> she's older than you. You got married. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, babe. Oh, that's how old we're getting. Stop. You're so close to Canada. Are you planning on doing any master classes north of the border? Ah, uh, as soon as we can get into Canada, we'd love to do that. 
Not sure how I feel about how this one was worded, but what were your career aspirations before Dave came along and ruined them? Stop it. Does it say that? Yeah. No. Yeah. For real? From Parker the Parrot. <laughs> ruined them. Uh, I think he made it a lot better. So originally when I was in high school, I was thinking I was going to be a flight attendant so that I could get paid to travel. And I wanted uh. to be a writer. So I figured I would write about my experiences, which I've now learned later that there's some sort of flight attendant that wrote a book. So <laughs> when did you become a mom? Uh, when I was 26, I became uh. a mom of a human. <laughs> what have you studied? Not a lot. Uh, <laughs> I'll just put it out there. I really didn't enjoy school ah. at all, but um, I really do enjoy all aspects of animal training. And so I've taken a few courses online and I've really enjoyed them. Like I took one specific ah. for, it was geared towards dogs and um, ooh, how to train them to be, it, it was, didn't apply to parrots, but it was really, really amazing and um, interesting because one of the things that they were teaching dogs was how to warn the human when ah. the dog can still make, oh my gosh, I've just totally butchered this. Ah. <laughs> okay, the point was, is that they can teach dogs ah. some really amazing things. And the premise was that there was this truck with a ladder sticking out the back and the human, if continued to walk, which was supposed to be a blind human, would hit their face on the ladder, but the dog of course wouldn't hit the ladder. And so they were training these dogs how to be able to tell when the human couldn't make it and would be able to direct the human accordingly. And I just thought that was really amazing. So that was super long-winded. I study stuff that I can't repeat. All right, this one's my favorite. Why are you so hot? Stop it. <laughs> Next. Are Love you planning it. to adopt or buy any birds? No. I am not planning to adopt or buy any birds not to my flock. Absolutely not. Ah. You guys are the one for me. These are more the things we don't plan for. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, who plans that? Ooh, this is great. What is your travel ah. versus home ratio? How do you balance traveling with your little human? Okay, so traveling versus home ratio seems to change every single year just based on what this universe is doing uh, and how it's feeling about life. So I did book us a lot this year. We have a lot of travels, most of which Dave doesn't even know about. Um, <laughs> so yeah, love you, babe. So. I don't know. I mean, it starts out as a certain thing and then I see openings and I'm like, yeah. So the ratio and balance is kind of off. Capri gets to choose. So she gets to choose if she comes with us. Sometimes she doesn't get to choose. Like if I just can't make accommodations for her to stay, if she wants to stay and I just can't logistically figure it out, then she's got to come with us. But for the most part, she wants to come with us. So it works out. How often do you go travel on holidays on accident? On accident. I don't remember when holidays are, so it's uh, something I'm working on improving about myself is memorizing holidays. <laughs> they should all be like 4th of July, you know? Because then you just know when it is. It makes sense. When is ah. Cinco de Mayo? <laughs> well, we could book ourselves over that. There's tacos everywhere. All-time favorite bird species. All-time favorite. I think blue-throated macaws are my all-time favorite. Yeah. Excuse you. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to be here. Okay. Time to switch. Time to switch. All right, Bondi, let's see how long she lasts. What's your favorite band or musical Oops, artist? Sorry. Uh, my favorite band, musical artist. Ooh, it's such a toughie. Because I go through phases of liking certain <laughs> music. Yeah, look out. Um, but today I was reminiscing and listening to Green Day. I really like Green Day. But I really like a lot of bands. Uh, yeah, maybe Green Day. Well, yeah. Yeah, let's go with Green Day. Why are you so beautiful, loving, caring, and helpful? Stop it. No, you stop it. Stop it. <laughs> if you didn't have birds, what animals would you most likely keep as pets? Aww. I know, it's a terrible question. Uh, I think I'd just be a normal person. I'd have like cats and dogs and maybe a horse. I'd have to lease a horse though, because I couldn't house it here. But if it could be any animal, 
I wouldn't have any of those and I just have a cheetah. What's your most and least favorite part of having multiple large parrots? Large parrots? I think my least favorite part is that they don't always get along. That I find that really obnoxious. My favorite part is their personalities. They're awesome. They're awesome individuals. Just together, it doesn't always work. If you could travel anywhere in the world for vacation, if money was no issue, where would you go and why? So Thailand is next on my bucket list, along with Japan. Uh, those are the places I definitely want to go to next. If money was no issue, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling like I should be thinking of some extravagant thing that's on everybody's bucket list or something, but I don't know what that is because I usually look at achievable things. So maybe it's like a trip around the world or something. I don't know if I could do that though because I wouldn't want to be away from you for that long. How long does that take if we could do a quick trip around the world? What are your thoughts about a budgie as a pet? I love budgies as pets. They're amazing. I just think that um, people don't necessarily value them as pets like they should because I think they make amazing pets. Me. All right, how tall are you? I don't want to talk about it. Next. <laughs> I look a lot taller if nobody's standing next to me. <laughs> When's your birthday? August 17th. I'm a Leo. How much do you weigh? <laughs> Shut up, you made that up. <laughs> you made that up. I know you guys aren't like that. She's holding my hand. Are you a fan of cockatiels? Um, I'm not not a fan of them. I really want to work with a cockatiel as my next project bird. I knew you were going to ditch me. She's trying to find a way to Dave. Yeah, I don't feel the same way as Dave <laughs> about cockatiels. Favorite bird to free fly? I have no bird right now because you ditched me. My favorite bird to free fly is definitely Jinx, but I really enjoy watching Cressy fly and she has adorable nuances about her that Dave and I know exist that when people fly with her, they don't necessarily know, but she makes these certain vocalizations when she's flying, especially when she's flying by us to just kind of communicate. And I think it's really adorable. And there's something really special about when we free fly her because she was our very first free flighted parrot. So there's a different dynamic when flying Cressy and uh, I don't know, I still get like that sinking feeling in the pit of my stomach when I fly her, like I still get nervous. Whereas with Jinx, I feel like I'm almost always just celebrating. So definitely different dynamics. Jinx, I feel like I could fly just about anywhere. Um, Cressy's just, I feel really proud flying her. What is your favorite free flight memory? Uh, favorite free flight memory. Oh, there's so many. I think my favorite though, that Dave and I still bring up to this day <laughs> is when Bandit, was, I think it was Bandit, he was like flying around us and I had Bondi and he flew by and he was like, hey Wandy. <laughs> and we call Bondi Wandy sometimes as a nickname. And yeah, he just flew by and was like, hey Wandy. And it was adorable. We'd never heard him say that before. And he was saying hi to you. And we always wanted you guys to be friends. Hey cutie. <laughs> Love you, bub. All right, so how many hours a day do you spend with your project birds? This varies. It varies on what I'm trying to accomplish or work on, because sometimes, like in the case of Bean the African Grey, who was really terrified, I didn't want to spend too much time with him on certain phases that he was going through. Otherwise, he would use me as almost like a, like a crutch to not have to overcome his fear, which was a whole point of me taking him on. Um, but in other cases, like with fennel or like with storm, I was spending a ton of time, like majority of the day with them during certain phases of working with them. So the phases look different based on what I'm trying to accomplish. Um, so yeah, it just varies. There is no like certain amount.